I have to be honest with you guys about something. I made this dress two years ago <laughs> and I filmed it last year. I don't know why I've been holding out on sharing it with you because it's seriously one of my favorite makes. But I guess now's the time, so let's get into it. The pattern I used is McCall's 7391, but as you can see, I did a little hack by adding an elastic casing to the waistline. More on that in a little bit. The pattern is a loose-fitting pullover top or dress with front band, French darts, shaped hemline, and narrow hem. It comes with a ton of options like sleeveless, short sleeves with sleeve bands, or long two-piece sleeves with a button cuff and tabs. Um, you can choose between a collar, mock neck, or neck band, and you can also choose to add chest pockets or a cute lace-up detail. So I made the dress length with the lace-up neckline, collarless, and sleeves that I keep rolled up all the time. But I don't love shift dress silhouettes on myself, so I decided to add some elastic to the waist to cinch that in. And then I style it with this little belt I got on Amazon years before it was cool to shop for clothing and accessories on Amazon. The only problem with the design hack and then the dress in general is that when you pull in a garment at the waist, it will pull up the hemline. It has to. There is no way around that. I didn't know that at the time and didn't compensate for that by adding extra length to the skirt. So this dress is a little short for my liking, especially because it like dips up in the sides for that shaped hemline. It's not wardrobe malfunction short, but I can't really bend over or sit with my legs uncrossed, so there's that. But I do still wear it all the time and get tons of compliments, and I think that's in large part to this super, super cute fabric. And I know you guys are all wondering about it yourself, so I got it so long ago, I don't even remember where I got it from. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was online, like not at Joanne or Hobby Lobby, I don't think, but maybe I got it from one of those places. If you have it and you can remember where you got it, let me know because I seriously don't remember. But honestly, it's it doesn't really matter because it was so long ago, there's no way it's still available. It is a cotton shirting though, and so I went online and found a bunch of other options that are available right now. Who says plaid has to be for flannel or for winter only? By using fun, springy, and bright colors, you can wear plaid year-round. If you like any of these plaids that I found, be sure to check the description box. I will have them all linked there, and they're all really affordable too. The other standout detail about this dress is the neckline. To create the lace-up detail, I used gold grommets and a piece of suede cording that I actually found in the jewelry section of the craft store. I've linked some in the description box for you. Creating this detail is deceptively simple. It's honestly easier than buttons to me. If you've never tried grommets before, don't be afraid of them. A couple taps of a hammer and you are good to go. So there you have it, my long loved, long overdue spring plaid dress. Let me know what you think of it in the comments section below. But that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!